This is my uh, discussion video for the A7-2 discussion on transit messages. Question 1 is, what is your reaction to the bone conduction technology being used on mass transit to send commercial messages to the consumers? I think the bone conduction technology sending commercial messages on mass transit is a complete invasion of, of privacy. Not only can you not lean up against the window to rest your head and catch a few minutes of sleep, but the commercial messages are being played into your head. As stated in the video, there is no sound that can be heard. The advertisement is sending vibrations into the skull that the brain then translates. This to me is the purest form of invasion. The advertisement is literally going into your head. It is literally going into your head. I personally can fall asleep anywhere and this would be extremely irritating to me if I was trying to sleep because there would be some other voice inside my head. Question 2 is, do you see other uses for the technology that the consumers would accept? Consumers will, will not accept this technology in the following areas because there are already so many different types of advertisements that the consumer have has to filter out that the main that this would be more just one more that is unnecessarily added to their daily lives. As I mentioned earlier, the main problem would be because it is too intrusive. No one is going to want some other voice in their head, let alone if the voice is trying to take advantage of them by persuading them to buy something. Although I do not think consumers will accept this technology, I do see some benefits. In the situations where military and law enforcement must communicate, then they could do so silently. Since the government would be a consumer of the product, then they would be the consumers that would be accepting it. Question 3. How likely is bone conduction technology to make it as, a, as an ad medium in the U.S.? Bone conduction will not be successful as an ad medium in the U.S. because we have something the people in Korea do not. That is the Bill of Rights. These rights were created to protect the people and to prevent the abuse of power by any group or individual. The Fourth Amendment protects the privacy of the person, possessions, and, and against un unreasonable searches. I believe that pla by placing advertising into someone's head through te technology devices, that this is an invasion of privacy by the advertising company. This will impact retailers because it will force them to use other types of technology. The example provided in the article titled Bus Riders and Invasive, Invasive Advertising was a good example because it, it showed that the smell of coffee being pumped into the bus was successful. Um, this is another alternative that retailers can use. I do not, I do not believe that this example is, is invasion of privacy, but extreme. It, it may be extreme, but not necessarily invading. Question four. How likely is it that smell advertising on public transportation will make it in the long run as an ad medium? Smell, smell advertising will be successful as an ad medium on public transportation because it will take advantage of one of the largest markets in, in the U.S., the market of food. It is no secret that Americans have been dealing with obesity and overweight problems for years now. By using the smell advertising tactics, I think food business, businesses will see huge rewards because it will take advantage of a huge market in a new way. Relating to the poverty of time, to the, relating to the poverty of time implication discussed on page 179, paragraph one, with with less time availability, consumers may not notice their hunger until their sense of smell is activated, and then in turn, this will trigger their hunger. I think this is a great tactic, and I think it will be extremely successful in America. Question five: Are either of these types of advertising predatory? Should, should they should either be illegal? These types of advertising are predatory because they are very intrusive. They both force their ad onto the consumer without their consent. However, I do not think the smell advertising should be illegal because it is just a smell. This is not predatory because people must smell things on a daily basis that they do not have control over regardless if they are pleasant or foul smells. However, when an advertisement is forced into your head, then that should be illegal. At that point, it is an invasion of privacy and crosses the line because you are now going from an external threat to an internal threat being inside the consumer's head. I am extremely supportive of new innovative ideas, but the bone conduction advertising should not be allowed.